My name is Mike Jones, and I'm a barista at Third Rail Coffee, right by Washington Square Park in New York City. I'm going to teach you some basic coffee making skills. I'm going to show you how to make pour over coffee using this Chemex brewer. And I'm going to be using the method that we use at the cafe I work at, Third Rail Coffee. So the first thing you do is start off with 23 grams of coffee, if you have a scale. I definitely recommend getting one. It makes brewing at home a lot easier, but um, it's also going to be three flat scoops. So you'll take that and grind it. You're going to do just a medium grind on this. The next step is to pre-wet the filter. Now what this does is make sure that everything's up to heat so that there's not temperature loss, which would uh, result in sour coffee, but it also removes some of the paper taste from the filter. It ends up being pretty noticeable. You could do an experiment where you just taste the water that you've run through the filter, and it's pretty clear that there's this sort of cardboardy roast taste that you don't want in the coffee. So once you've done that, you just dump it out. And the dumping of the water from the Chemex is one of the unspoken arts. All right, so once all the water is out, you add the grounds to the Chemex. And then just kind of shake it around to make sure it's flat in there. Now I'm going to be doing this on a scale up to 400 grams of water. This would also be around 12 and a half, 12 and a half ounces. All right, so you add the water. Now for using a tea kettle, you either want to take water just off boil and transfer it to another device or just let it sit for 30 seconds and use the tea kettle. So the first thing you're gonna do is pour just enough water to wet all the grounds that are in there. And you let that sit for 30 to 45 seconds. This is called blooming. And what it does is let some of the gases release so if you were to pour all the water at once, the gases would kind of create this barrier between the water and the grounds, which would lead to an uneven extraction. It would probably taste sour, weak. So after 30 seconds, you're gonna pour. You wanna pour pretty slowly, starting in the center, and then going in concentric circles all the way to the edge, but without actually pouring down the sides of the filter. This would just rush right through the grounds, and then over extract, causing it to be bitter. And you can come back in and circle out again. This whole process should take between three and a half to four minutes. If it goes, if the water runs too fast, you want to use a finer grind. And then if it's taking too long to drip through, you're going to want to use a coarser grind. All right, so we've added all the water we're going to use. And you're just going to finish it up with a gentle stir. I just like to do a little X and then a circle. And this gets some of the grounds off the bed or off the walls of the Chemex so that they all extract. And then again, this is the part where you can start making sure the timing is right. If it's taking too long, you have to make an adjustment. So once all the water is drained through, you're going to remove the filter. And you want to make sure you do this before it dries out, because the last few drops are not going to taste so good. So you just pull that out, and you can throw it away or compost it. And then after you let it cool, it's ready to serve. 